was a, a little much, but greatly appreciate it. In my business, you don't hear many nice things very often, certainly, and as we go get ready for next year, it's, uh, boy, what have we done? What have we done? To say it's a pleasure and honor to be here, of course, is an understatement. To look to you all, I just heard terms like extraordinary role models, leadership. Goodness, we're so desperate for those today. We need them so badly. The opportunity to see good behavior in action, that, that unto itself is, a, is refreshing and necessary. If this interminable electioneering ever ends, which I sometimes doubt, uh, it's going to be because we start talking to each other. We start looking to the role models that you, Governor Hunt, all, all of you all have represent. We need to be focusing on that much more than the throw them under the bus, wag the, wag the finger. When I first arrived here at, in the General Assembly, I was, like most young legislators, pretty lost. I, I really wasn't sure what I, people, everybody said, well, what do you want to do? Well, you know, I want to have good government. Well, don't we all? No, what do you want to do? Well, I don't know, honestly. I've got four kids and seven grandchildren. All my grandchildren, save one, are now in college. One's in graduate work. And I listened to them as they expressed themselves about their elementary high school studies and the teachers and the people they, they come across. And I sense in them that frustration of what's going on? Where do I look for leadership? I mean real leadership. The leadership that says follow me. The leadership that says I'll take responsibility rather than not my fault. The leadership that you personify, that you exemplify, that you model. I'm so truly honored, humbled, to have the opportunity to, to just be here in your company, learn from you. We're, there's, there's a book I came across a couple of years ago. The book was pretty good, but the title was terrific. And the title was, What Got You Here Won't Get You There. That's where you all come in. We are embarking on the new digital age. These things are a fact of life, and they will be. And something will replace them that's even more complicated and sophisticated, and I can't seem to figure out how to use, but just a small percentage of the power in here. It, it actually, it, this thing has more computing power than it took to send a man to the moon and return him safely to the Earth. We need to harness that and through the use of the digital environment, I mean really the use of the digital environment, not just shoving a textbook inside a, a laptop. That's not the digital environment. Not just, hey, Google it. It's not. This is an opportunity to see over the next hill, not just down the street. And with your leadership, what you have exemplified, how you, have, how you carry yourself every day, that's what we need. That's what we desperately need. That's what, and, and I'm so honored and pleased to have you, to have you in my life, in the life of my children, my grandchildren, and our grandchildren to come. We can now deliver the finest education in the world to the poorest and most rural student, if we will. And by and it's going to happen when someone stands up and says, I got an idea. Follow me. Thank you so very much for your leadership. Governor Hunt, for your leadership. Glenn Kleiman, for your leadership. All of you all, thank you very much. This is a wonderful day, a marvelous recognition that we need to hold close, close, and always. Thank you so very much.